Hey everyone, Ramp Brian here. So you can see the uh, racer's been turned around, hood's off, battery's out, nothing's been disconnected, but I got some plans for this weekend. It involves this engine, it also partly involves the uh, Dynamark, which is up there, and a uh, tractor that should be here shortly after four today. Yep, I bought another one. Uh, it's, a tra it's a Craftsman. Identical to what the truck started off being, so just like the one pug tractor, um, but it has a blown motor. And uh, turns out this motor here is a perfect candidate for that tractor, right down to fuel pump. But uh, hopefully, this other tractor has a good fuel pump, so I don't have to run um, the uh, fuel pump I'm currently running on this one. But um, yeah, I'm getting another one. I was looking at two of them, um, the, cra the Craftsman that I'm getting today, and I was also looking at a uh, Noma four-wheel steer. If you know a Noma four-wheel steers, you probably know what my idea was. Unfortunately, wait, the way it goes, it was on Kijiji for a month. Uh, I called the guy on Wednesday, and sure enough, someone else called him just before I called, and first come, first serve, and it got sold to the other guy. Most likely, the other guy had the same idea I did, but... Um, I originally saw it last weekend on Friday Friday or Saturday night, I forget when I saw it. And I was humming and hawing about it all week, so I went on on Wednesday, and sure enough, it was still there. I called, and I was too late. But um, I was debating on doing it anyways because of the gear ratios, and there's a, just a lot of unknowns by, do, by doing a setup like that. I know P Puppet Kicker has done it, um, but there's been, I, I think he's had quite a few breakdowns in doing it and with the truck I can't afford breakdowns because I use that for work so that's the main reason why I didn't bother like getting into it sooner I was thinking oh should I do it should I not do it and I, I lucked out it was cheap enough I actually should have bought it instead of the Dynamark because it has a uh, good motor in it it's a, had a Kohler 16 opposed but the Dynamark has a fairly decent motor anyways so anyways uh, the tractor that I'm getting all it needs is the engine swapped. I believe it will need a battery as well. Um, so I'm going to get it, do the swap, probably hold on to it for the winter, and uh, sell it in the spring. That's my um, that's my offhand idea for it right now. So this one here, the motor will be coming out. Dynamark's uh, engine is going to be coming out. That uh, cheaper 13.5 uh, coolers going in the Dynamark. The opposed twin is going in the Crossman, unless I find something different uh, between now and the weekend. That's what's going in here. Like I said, I originally wanted a, a V-twin, but um, I'm thinking since this is a beater tractor, um, I don't really want to put an expensive engine in here. And this engine that's in here is a little bit too good for this tractor to begin with, so that's another reason why I'm pulling out this engine. So that's, that's my plans for the weekend. I'll try to get as much video as possible of the engine swaps. But um, it's going to be a pretty straightforward swap. This engine here will just unbolt out. Hopefully I can get the pulley off in one piece. Uh, when I put it on there, I kind of had to tap it on a bit. So I'm hoping this pulley will come off this engine. If not, I'm going to have to cut it. But it's not a big deal. Uh, I plan on putting a uh, bigger pulley on here anyways. So that's... My only unknown is trying to get this pulley off and the condition of the fuel pump in the other tractor. Um, the engine's there, but it's blown. So that's uh, pretty much it for this video. So more tomorrow. I got to go work tomorrow morning. And then um, tomorrow afternoon, I'll be working on these So and, and Sunday. Uh, the engine swap shouldn't take me too long. Just basically unbolt this one and take off the exhaust. Um, get it out and put it straight into the other tractor and I might do the Dynamark swap as well and most likely just get the engines bolted in I won't I'll worry about the wiring uh, next week next weekend sort of thing it's getting close to Christmas so I don't, I don't have much more time to work on these also what I'm thinking about doing is I can push one in here do the wiring push it out or drive it out push the next one in do the wiring drive it out sort of thing um, this here has a half a tank of fuel, which needs to be drained out. Um, it's, it's good gas, nothing wrong with the gas that's in it. But uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm debating on draining it out or not. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video. So, as you may or may not have noticed, I swapped around a couple things. 
just a generator in the uh, toolkit. Um, power went out a few weeks ago, and I had a hard time getting this out. Uh, I had moved the tractor, so much better setup having the generator sitting right there. So I'll talk to them later. Please keep it right like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment.